So even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is not on a sweltering August afternoon in 63 in DC, but in his last Christmas sermon, just three months before King will be crucified with a gun, where he shares this prophecy. See, Brother Martin confesses he has seen his dream become a nightmare and moves beyond the national confines of his former vision into the vastness of the Hebrew prophet's dream of tomorrow when he shares, I still have a dream today that one day war will come to an end, that all will beat their swords into plowshares and spears into pruning hooks, that nation will no longer rise up against nations, neither will they study war anymore.